It's time for another new Kansas City Spotlight. Here's your host, Lauren Scott. Dealing with stress at any age can be tough, but many children need help developing tools they need to cope. I'm Lauren Scott, your host for Kansas City Spotlight, and today I am joined by James Robertson with KVC Hospitals to learn more. Hi, James. How's it going? Doing well, Lauren. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. So one thing you guys talk about a lot is resilience. And what does that mean? And, and how does it uh, help when it comes to mental health? So resilience is a set of skills that we use to manage problems. It's literally the ability to bounce back. Mm -hmm. And what we know is that resilience lines up with healthy brain development. And a child's brain develops every second of every day throughout childhood and adolescence. And the brain, you're not born with a fully developed brain. You have to build it over time. So it's like a house. It has layers. And what we know about healthy brain development and resilience is that if you can develop three core skills, your ability to cope, your ability to problem solve, and maximize relationships, then you can have a strong house. Mm -hmm. And if you have that strong house, then you'll be able to weather life storms. Definitely. So what about a child who's lacking in that resilience area? How may they be affected when it comes to stress? So stress is key in child development. It's a good thing, but if you don't have coping skills and resilience, then it can be overwhelming. And while good stress builds positive coping skills and problem solving, overwhelming stress can have lifelong negative impacts. And for those kids that experience overwhelming toxic stress, um, such as abuse, neglect, or other traumas, what we find is they often develop unhealthy coping strategies, which are hard to undo over time. So what can a parent do to help make sure their kids develop these healthy coping strategies and, and develop and strengthen their resilience? Yeah, so parents and role models are key in developing a healthy foundation for kids. And so we always say do three specific things. Uh, provide as many positive interactions for your kids as you can. Be available for conversations. Help them navigate. And really key is to provide that safe and supportive environment for the kids. And if your child's experiencing a crisis, connect with a professional, whether it's a school social worker, your local mental health center, um, or you can reach out to KVC. All right, so if people want to reach out to you all, uh, how can they do that? Yeah, so our website is kvchospitals.org. On there, you can find our phone numbers. We also have several videos and blogs that talk about coping strategies. And we also have exercises that you can do at home. All right, well, that sounds amazing. Well, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you. This Kansas City Spotlight has been paid for by KVC Hospitals. For more information, visit kvchospitals.org.